So congratulations on the film. Um, I suspect you're probably of an age to remember the 1970s and Miss World. What do you remember particularly of, of Miss World and beauty contests at the time? Because they were so prevalent on TV. Beauty contest was so prevalent on TV in the 1970s and I remember watching those things with my sisters. I don't remember this event because I think we were too little, maybe we weren't allowed to watch when we were seven or whatever we were. Um, but I do remember watching beauty contests and me and my sisters used to play beauty contests, even worse. We used to dress up in swimming cozies and parade around. My sisters would never let me win. How did your mum feel about that? My mum was a feminist, so she really didn't like it. She really didn't like it, so she wasn't. Uh, she didn't encourage us to watch those things, but we liked them. And I think it's only later when you look back and you think, how hideous, how hideous it was to parade in front of all those judges. And this is a film essentially with two stories. You've got the women's liberation protest, but you've also got the winner of Miss World, who of course was the, the first black winner. I wondered if that was part of the appeal of the story, the fact that it was about equality in a much broader sense rather than just one aspect. Absolutely. It was so important to tell this story from multiple points of view. And the fact that the first, this was the first time a black woman won, and not only that, the second place went to Miss Africa South, it seemed to be such a joy and such a really important thing to tell. And you address some very serious issues in the film, um, so much so that actually it could have been a very serious film per se, but it's not. You actually go for the humour. Why did you take that approach? I think it's very important to get your message in by stealth, not to hit people over the head with it, but give people such a wonderful, joyful time watching it. But there is an underlying serious message in there, but you don't have to hit people over the head with that message. You can have a gorgeous time watching it and a joyful time watching it and still learn something at the same time. And I was fascinated by the portrayal of Bob Hope in this because it wasn't quite the image that we're always used to of him. And I wondered if perhaps there's a film there to be made and whether it's something that you would go for yourself now that you've got some knowledge of the character. It, it, Bob Hope is a fascinating character in the film and you're right, it, it is showing another part of Bob Hope. He's not the avuncular, a comedian that is, is so hallowed, but he did do those things. He was very sexist and the, the footage that you see in our film of him saying those jokes, you can look it up on YouTube and see the real life Bob Hope doing the same thing. So, yeah. It's extraordinary he, he obviously cultivated his image very, very carefully. And when I watched the film, I, my jaw nearly dropped, actually, because this was yeah. not the Bob Hope that I remembered. No. Most of your career, of course, has been in TV. What tempted you to go to the big screen? I've always enjoyed a lovely career in television, making very authored pieces of work in television. But as you know, there are very few women film directors, and it's taken me longer to be trusted to make a movie despite all the BAFTAs I've won and all the awards I've won. So I was really, I was really grateful that um, particularly Andy Harries from Left Bank Pictures really championed me to make this. And also that um, Cameron of, from Pathé, Cameron McCracken from Pathé, welcomed me to make it. That's, a, that's a brilliant because it is an important thing to have made this with a woman director this film. So what's coming next for you? Are you going back to the small screen? I think it's wonderful to make both. I think it's the best of television to me is equal to the best of film so I've got films in development and also te I'm doing television as well. It's sport for children. <laughs> Philippa thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!